Aquaplaning is when water causes your vehicle to lose contact with the asphalt, which may result in loss of control. So when approaching a big puddle, get your foot off the accelerator and hold the steering wheel tight. Avoid braking if possible, that could shift the weight of the car and you could lose control. Also, if you can, put on neutral. In a situation like this, when the puddle is on one side only, it can also pull the car to that side. So again, hold your wheel tight. Always turn on your lights on rainy days, no matter what the time of day. The switch for that is usually on the flasher lever. In most cars these days, the front lights will turn on as soon as you start the engine, but only the ones on the front. But you'll also need the ones on the back. Darker vehicles may also be harder to see in these conditions. In a lot of places, there are laws that require that you have all your lights on at any time of day on darker days due to weather conditions, so you can get a fine if you don't. If you have an auto position on your light switch and you select it, your lights will turn on or off automatically depending on ambient light, so you can use that too. Visibility will also be reduced in the external mirrors because water will accumulate on them, so that's another reason to turn on the lights. In some cases, you may not distinguish the shape of the vehicle approaching you, but you'll see its lights. Now, maybe you notice that when I switched on the main lights, the lights on my dashboard dim. If that happens, look for a knob on your dash close to the light switch. It adjusts the intensity of the dashboard illumination. Another indicator that your lights are on, this little green icon. But if you also see this blue icon, it means that you have your high beams on. You should never use these when there are other drivers close by, but especially in rainy or foggy conditions, which is tempting to do. If you do, the light will get amplified and you'll blind others even more. In most vehicles, you can turn off the high beams by either pushing or pulling on the flasher lever, depending on the vehicle, but it can also be somewhere else. Also, don't forget to turn off your lights before leaving the vehicle. It's easy to forget to turn them off during the day because of the ambient light. Most vehicles will warn you with the sound when you open the door if you forgot to turn them off. In part one of this video, I told you to turn on the air as soon as you get in the car so that your windows don't get all foggy. Another thing you can also do to avoid that is to open the windows a bit if possible, all of them preferably. Also note that the more people in the vehicle, because of the breathing and the generated body heat, the faster the windows will fog up. So in that case, you can increase the airflow intensity or if it's not raining, you can open your windows more. In normal weather, you should keep at least two seconds between you and the vehicle in front. In wet weather, you should keep between three and five seconds. So find a reference point, this panel in this case, and when the car in front of you passes next to it, you should count at least three to five seconds until you've passed the panel yourself. Another thing that becomes very slippery in wet conditions, this. They are beautiful in the fall, but also very slippery, especially when wet. So gradually slow down whenever you're approaching them, especially in curves. And last but not least, a very common mistake at the exams, don't wait until your windshield gets too watered up to start the wipers. That's lack of autonomy. Remember, they're your responsibility, not the examiners. I hope you loved this video. Thanks for watching.